I went to see a movie recently and I went with a combination of excitement and unease. Excitement because it was a cricket movie. The whole theme was around cricket. There was going to be lots of playing of cricket. I wanted to see how they weave in the story around that. A little bit of unease because I didn't know how I'd react to a film where I knew a lot of people in it. I've known Balki for a long time. There's been a debate in the house about whether we like Chini Kam more or Pa more. I was always on the Pa side. My wife was on Chini Kam side. I've been invested a little bit in Sayami Kher's performance recently as an outstanding anchor on Crick Buzz. And I've known her as an actress, but I also knew her as a cricketer. And I wanted to see how she combined the two. I knew Angad Bedi well. So I was a little confused about how I'd react to the film with people that I knew in it. I was also a little concerned about how the cricket would be shot. We've all seen sports movies where the emotion is built up, the drama is built up and then suddenly the sport starts and you say, yeah, they've tried to make the actor, they've tried to teach the actor play cricket, it's not working. Within the first 10 minutes or so, that first fear was gone because I saw Saimi punch off the back foot, the on drive, the lofted hit through mid off. Those were cricketer shots. And as the movie wore on, I was fascinated by how Balki has focused on the little things so carefully. It's not just Sayami, who's a proper cricketer. She's an actor, but she's also a proper cricketer, so there was never going to be any doubt about that. But also on how the rest of the uh, characters play. When there's an India-England game, they were all proper cricketers playing, so he didn't compromise on that, and that gives the movie a touch of authenticity. But it is in playing the cricketer and the emotions about denied possibility that Sayami Kher takes her character up to another level. Uh, I don't think that would have happened if she hadn't been a cricketer actor. So I was overjoyed with the way that aspect was created. Then there was Abhishek Bachchan. I think he lives the role of the coach. Sometimes you can have a coach who's trying to motivate a player, whether it's the hard way or the soft way, but sometimes the lines can appear a little corny, a little straight out of a motivational lecture. I love the way Abhishek married into the character. I could recognize a couple of cricketers within the, within the character that Abhishek plays, but I'll leave it for you to decide. But needless to say, especially in the first half, he is outstanding. But more than anything else, what I liked about Boomer was that it is a story of hope. It's, it's curious that the name of the production house is Hope Productions. But it's a story of hope that sad things happen to people, that unplanned things happen to people. And the lines around those are very subtly woven, the left and the right. So I like the fact that there was no talking down about women's cricket. There was no talking down about so many other sensitive issues in society that, that will keep coming up. And while there will be cinematic license, remember it's an entertainment movie, there will be a lot of cinematic license in it. But I like the fact that from a cricketing point of view, the little anecdotes, the little connections, the little stories, the little connects and the actual playing of the game is beautifully done. I'm not a movie reviewer, so I can't, I can't tell you too much more than that. But uh, I love the wonderful way in which a tribute to a great shooter was woven into the Indian context. The Hungarian shooter who loses his right hand in the war, wins a gold medal. In, at the Olympics, shooting left-handed. How do you adapt that to India? You convert it to cricket. It's a language everybody understands. But you put enough woman in it to understand her emotions more, her struggle more. Converts her from a right-handed batsman into a left-handed bowler. It's not easy at all. Any of you right-handers try bowling left-handed. Saimi has done that magnificently. So from that point of view, yeah, go and watch it. Gumar.